Welcome back to my bathroom. Today we're testing viral beauty hacks to see if they really work. Before we get into this really high quality program, do your tithing, do your tithing. Subscribe, click the like button. I'm here for you every single Sunday. And I'll link my other YouTube channel below if you're interested in becoming an at-home hairdresser. This week we're on hair color. Hack number one. This is a dupe to Fenty Body Lava. Body Lava Oil. You heard of that? First up, you're gonna need some oil, ladies. In a perfect world, this would be a spray bottle. It's fur cannon nose green beans. LA Colors Shimmer Loose Powder, Loose Shimmer Powder. Did you get that backwards? You sure did, you dyslexic hoe. This is in shade Radiant, Radiant. It's the brown, darker one. Is that okay? Put that powder in there with some oil. I think it needs more of this. Hard to tell the before and after, but pretend this arm is naked and dry, and this one is sparkly and shimmery and moist. That can't be good for your skin. The skin is the largest organ, remember? Hard to compare it to the dupe, because I've never tried Fenty Beauty. Not happening. Honestly, not interested. I'm a Bare Minerals kind of gal. I could see how that would be cool for my younger self before I was going out, but now, I mean, damn, that's gonna get the seats dirty or clothes dirty? I don't think so. The hack is not for me, but for a general rating, I think it's a solid five. I can see the potential. Which real quick, I'll link this below. I found a new, better, cheaper spray tan. The nozzle is total garbage. Negative 10 for the sprayer pump thing, it's always junk, but the tan itself is fantastic. I mean fantastic when you're talking about doing it yourself. Our next hack is coffee filters. These are DIY blotting papers. My face isn't super oily right now, but just wait a minute. This is apparently an alternative to the little blotting sheets. Sheets. These are the ones I use. This brand is the cheapest brand. And I, I also use the toilet seat covers. They work just as well, if not better. The coffee filter is a little too thick, but it doesn't show up the oil mark. It just takes off the makeup. The toilet seat cover, it'll show you where the oil is because you'll look at it and it'll have a big oil spot. So I don't love the coffee filter as much, but if you had oily skin and just needed to, it would work, but it's a three for me. For this hack, you're gonna need a straw. This is one of those recycled straws, so it's already broken. All they do is break. You ever been to a restaurant and they give you a pasta straw? It's a straw made out of pasta. Save the turtles. This one is not helping because now I'm gonna have to use another straw because they keep breaking. It's biodegradable. If you're traveling, can I come? And you're trying to take jewelry and it gets all tangled. You know when you got so much damn jewelry, it's gonna get tangled. I don't have any jewelry. Jewelry. Oh, look at this. These aren't real or anything, so y'all don't come looking for me. Trying to steal my bowling ball earrings. Look at that. I started kissing my bowling ball because I saw several people kiss their bowling ball. So I was like, well, okay, I'll try it. I didn't get any better. Next week, I'm gonna be out with the flu. <laughs> anyway, so this hack is not for bowling balls or earrings. It is for your necklaces. If you have too much jewelry and it's gonna get tangled, you take a straw, you do this, and you can throw it in your bag and it's not gonna squiggly wiggly on you. So this is a nice hack. If you have too many things and you need a thing to keep your things from tangling into other things, this is your thing. Oh, speaking of straws, remind me to tell you about the Stanley Cups. Not the hockey trophy, the Stanley Cups. The drinking apparatus with the straw that looks like a car exhaust pipe. The Stanley Cups, I'll tell you about that later. This hack makes your perfume stay on longer. Or if you're me, cologne, I wear cologne. You take some Vaseline, petroleum jelly, and you put it on wherever you're gonna put, where are we gonna put it? Your perfume. My favorite cologne is this one, Gucci Guilty. I get this on eBay. I don't know if this guy takes these from dealers or what he does with them, but you can get this for like $15 on eBay and every now and then he'll just pop them up. Oh, it smells like a man, like a man. Not one of those sissy men, sissy, sissy men, you know what I mean? Nothing against y'all sissy men, but this clone makes me want to build a cabin or something. It's got that manly scent with a touch of, what's the word? I think it's money. You put the clone or the perfume on the Vaseline and that apparently makes it stay on longer. To get your nails sparkly white, gonna take a toothbrush. Whitening toothpaste. Hang on, we gotta get the stove out of the sink. Put a little toothpaste on there and go to town. Oh! 
Go to town on your digits. That is a texture overload. I keep my nails really short and I've been using clear nail polish lately. Clean girl aesthetic. But I just take baking soda. This may not be right by the way. Baking soda and go like this. Little scrub scrub. And that brightens the nails and gets all the dirt out from under it. I also brush my teeth with baking soda and hydrogen peroxide. My grandma does that too and her teeth look great. It does smell good. I love a mint smell. Andy's Mint's York Peppermint Patties. I even love the smell of toothpaste. They do look clean. I'd give that a two compared to the baking soda hack where you just do one of these with the baking soda, get to know it for about 10 seconds. It works way better, way cheaper. You don't need a toothbrush to make that happen. So try the baking soda, let me know. Also the baking soda works really well. If you do the fake tan, you can put it on your hands after to make sure your palms don't get orange because that's a dead giveaway that you rubbed your tan on at, your, at yourself, by yourself, on yourself. I did a really bad job with my hands this time though. Terrible hack. Now we're on to DIY nail art. You're gonna need a Band-Aid. Not just any Band-Aid, it has to be the one that has the holes in it. See that? You're gonna put the Band-Aid on your nail and those little holes are gonna apparently turn into beautiful, perfect polka dots. They're not that big of a hole, so I'm not sure how that's gonna work. And then another nail, ha another nail hack is to spray your nails with cooking spray to make the nail polish dry faster. I'm treating myself with butter flavor today. Just give it a spray. I don't know the theory behind that. It also said you could dip your hands in cold water after you paint your nails. That would dry them or you could spray them with hairspray. Oh, I'm having a flashback. Remember that product? It came in a big red can and it, they used to have it at nail salons a lot where were. Remember when acrylic used to be like the thing to do? You gotta get acrylic French tips who your asshole sit under the light and then they would spray it with this red stuff and it smelled bad but good. It's kind of like sniffing gasoline, like, ooh, that stinks, but sometimes it's like, well, actually that's not too bad. Anybody else or just me? Ooh, you know what else I love? Cherry alcohol. Not the drinking alcohol. I don't drink alcohol anymore. I replaced it with tea. Cheers to that. Which while we're waiting for this, let's get in today's tea talk. Today we have a beautiful, beautiful caramel colored tea and guess what it is? Back in with Harney and Sons fine tea. That is some fine tea. See? The hot cinnamon sunset. Two weeks ago, I showed you this. At first, I think I gave it an eight, but now that I've had it a few more times, it's a 20 out of 10. It is a very unique flavor. A little spicy, but not too spicy. Look at the tea bag. That just looks like I've got money, that tea bag. I love that. Well, it is dry. I don't know if that's from the butter spray. Ah, ready for this nail art? I'll let you look first. <gasps> oh, wow. We're missing a lot of polka dots, but we do have a few. That's actually pretty cool. We're gonna have to give it a zero though, considering it didn't work completely. For this hack, you're gonna need some Tic Tacs. These are Sprite flavor. Haven't had these before. Swallow it. I'm a root beer kind of gal, so these are a zero. So you wanna take the lid off, empty your Tic Tacs, and this is now your bobby pin holder. At your leisure, you can just pop the top. 10 out of 10 for that. Chapstick to smooth your flyaways. So these little, are those flyaways or that's just breakage? I don't know. Oh, that actually works. Look at that. I have a lot of that because I'm getting gray hairs and they're coming in weird. Gray hair is just Satan's work. They come in about this long and they're, looks like a damn corkscrew. Coarse and thick and wiry. It's like, well, like you ever touched a rat? It's like that. Not like a little mouse, cute little pet toy. No, I'm talking about a sewer rat lives on the streets. They have wiry, nasty hair. That's what my gray hairs are like. And the weird thing is, well, it's not weird. Yeah, that's not weird. That's common knowledge, right? The less stressed I am, the less they appear. I don't know. So I'm just trying to keep a low stress lifestyle because it shows up on your face and your skin. Your, your face is your skin. Your face and your hair. You know what I mean? It shows up. You ever seen somebody who had a hard life? I mean, we've all had hard times, but like a hard, hard life. And then if they smoke cigarettes too, it's like, wow, you've seen some stuff. That chapstick, that's a 10 out of 10. That would be nice if you were doing like a slick back. Would that hold it? Oh, it does. Look at that. Well, that would be if you wanted like a wet look. I use one of these pedicure brushes, but for my hair, because it helps fan the hair out if you have thin hair, fine hair, bald spots. Oh, wow. You could also use a toothbrush. Now we're gonna start cooking. For this hack, you'll need coconut milk. In the pan. Gelatin. 
warm it up and give it a stir. This apparently is going to make pore strips for your blackheads, which are controversial, controversial, if you're supposed to use those or not. I don't know. Close your eyes and pretend this is a makeup remover towel. I'm just gonna try it on my nose because I'm scared. My blackheads have gotten a lot better and honestly, the secret is there is no secret. I think the media and everybody, influencers, try to sell us all this junk. 10 different things. They're $100 a bottle, drunk elephant, drunk genies, whatever. The secret is water. Drink water, clean your face with just water in the morning, the steamer, and be done with it. Hell, sometimes I don't even use the steamer. I'll take this exact pot, put water in it, and stand over it. And then I'll wipe my face with a paper towel. And my face looks the best it's ever looked the less I use. So it's gonna be, whoop, well, can't see it. It's gonna be liquidy. Come on, but it's gonna dry. It puts the coconut milk on its skin. All right, we're gonna let that set because it's supposed to dry and peel off, which I guess that's right. If you're gonna eat it, it should be safe to put on your skin. I have an aunt, well, she's deceased now. She used to drink Jello. She would make Jello on the stove, so it's still warm, and she would drink it before you dilute it with another cup of cold water. She would just drink it, because you know it's made with horse knees or whatever, the collagen. That's the Redneck Collagen Powder. And she looked good too. She also had a lot of permanent makeup and that was like back in the day where it was kind of taboo to have any of that. Also taboo if you went to church with us. You go into hell if you get a tattoo cause it's the mark of the beast. That's how Satan's gonna find you in the end of time. That's all they would talk about is when I'm gonna die. Let's talk about what we're gonna do while we're here. <laughs> Not that we're always gonna die and someone's always out to get me. No wonder I have anxiety. Dang. All right, now why this dries, let's talk about these Stanley Cups. Again, we are not talking about the hockey trophy. We're talking about the drinking apparatus. My first question is I wanna know what you're drinking in there. What's in your cup? You're drinking that much water all throughout the day? <laughs> making out with the Stanley. Ma'am, are you still breastfeeding your Stanley cup? It looks like you are nursing a teat. I ain't seen a damn one of y'all drinking water before you got a Stanley cup. And they'll hold it like this. I don't need to see your Stanley cup. You don't need to break your wrist to show me that you have a Stanley cup. Bitch, if I want a Stanley cup, I can go buy one off of eBay used, okay? Pre-owned. Or better yet, I can go buy a tumbler at the Dollar Tree in the $5 section, take out my little Cricut, Cricut, whatever hand vinyl cutting machine, make a Stanley logo on Photoshop, and bam, now I got a Stanley. And I can break my wrist to show you that I got a Stanley too. Look at this, look at this. And then the at the pillow section. Anyway, they're nursing on it like they are a breastfed baby. And I'm not talking about everybody. Some people with Stanley Cups know how to act. And you're telling me that's water. You're telling me that's H2O. I don't think so. I think you went to Linda's Lucky Lottery and Liquors and got you some Tito's and poured it in that big ass stainless steel car muffler thing. It's for dog people after all. You do you. One thing though, I can't wrap my brain around, the few brain cells that are left floating around here, just free balling it, is people who collect Stanleys, which honestly, I can't say shit because I collect Furbies. You know, Furbies. The functionality is not in question. It holds the liquid. The obsession is. Stanley's whole gimmick is the cup will last a lifetime. It will not disintegrate back into the earth. Is that the word? Regenerate? I don't know, it's not gonna break down and turn into sand or anything, okay? It is always going to be a Stanley Cup. The cup is gonna outlive me and it's gonna outlive you. And your children's 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 children. So we know this to be true. Remember the girl, the car that blew up and her Stanley Cup was fine and it still had ice in it? The cup is gonna make it. So that should mean you only need one Stanley Cup per person. One per human being, bean. But for some reason, reasons unknown, one is not enough. One Tito disguiser is not gonna cut it. You need 37. 37 Stanley Cups! The trend is to match your cup, breaking your wrist to show everybody what you got, match your cup with your outfit. Miss ma'am, please tell me what outfit you're going to wear that is going to match that toilet brown Stanley Cup. Look, maybe I'm just jealous because I don't have 37 Stanley Cups. Honestly, I don't even have one. I've been drinking out of this same McDonald's cup for about two years now, <laughs> this same exact one. And it holds the right amount of water. It's the perfect weight. It fits in the cup holder. Nobody has been jealous of it or tried to steal it. They're definitely not fighting over it. It's not a limited edition, so they're available for everybody. And it will eventually rotate back in the earth. You're not supposed to burn plastic, but. 
Anyway, I don't understand the obsession with the Stanley Cups, but I can appreciate it, much like I appreciate Swifties and Frenzies, whatever you call yourself, Friends fans. To be that dedicated to something is incredible. If you can collect 37 Stanley Cups, you can do just about anything. All right, it's time to take this mask off. Do you see it? It did dry. Oh, wow! I don't know if you're gonna be able to see those little blackheads and hairs or whatever, but look at that. If you look at the side, it comes off in these tiny little pieces. I'm just gonna have to wash that off, but maybe if you applied it in a thicker sheet. But I don't know. I don't think that, is that good for your skin? Probably not. I'm sure someone will let me know though. That wraps up our viral beauty, viral, viral beauty hacks. I hope you have an amazing week. Don't forget to take care of yourself. Drink some water, eat an apple, go for a light walk, brisk walk. You ever seen those Olympians who are fast walkers? Go try to do that. It's actually harder than it looks. You deserve that. You deserve to have a body that's gonna take care of you. So you gotta take care of it, girl. You gotta take care of it. And I want you to take care of it because who's gonna watch this? Who else is gonna watch this mess? <laughs> Uh, anyway, that's my words of wisdom is just to take care of your vessel this week. Just try it. Drink some more water. A little less booze. A little more water. Wash your face with water too. Start doing that. Quit listening to all that. Oh, you gotta have this $100 face wash, bitch. No, you don't. No, you don't. Look at what I'm using. And this is the best my skin has ever looked. This is CeraVe and I had a coupon, so this was like $9. Oil cleanser. And then after that, follow up with whatever this La Roche Pose is. Double cleansing. Toner from the Dollar Tree, bubble lotion from Walmart. It's like $12 and a little pumpy thing. Hydro Dunk, it's called. That's the nighttime routine. In the morning, water, water cleansing, water. The secret is water. That's what worked for me anyway, or has been working. It's a lifelong learning process. But I think we overcomplicate things. We overcomplicate skincare. We overcomplicate life. It's supposed to be enjoyable. It's not always gonna be fun. Things are gonna go south. Your boyfriend breaks up with you. Somebody dies. Shit just happens. But remember, life is not about all the junk that's happening. It's about how we respond to it. Your boyfriend leaves you, okay, good. You didn't need a damn man who's not willing to stay. You deserve someone who wants to stay. There's tons of men out there, I see them all the time. Anyway, thanks for being here and supporting me and watching, because without you, this isn't possible. I'll see you on the other side of the internet sometime next week. It's a date. And I will see you here in the bathroom next Sunday for something cool. Something cool. You got that? So the couch that's for sitting is not for sitting. It's for holding a bunch of damn pillows. Decor pillows. Balls, bowls. Probably can't get worms from sitting on a toilet, but I think about it. Stern. <laughs> that would just really ruin the Kirkland signature quality. <laughs> Quads of steel. They have hair extensions down to their ankles. Shoo shoo peasant. Huge sunglasses. They're covering their real eyes and their third eye. The bowling alley smells like hot wings and cigarettes. So I don't think this is gonna last. Phenomenon.